I feel this way slightly differently about when people criticize Mormons too rashly. Like right. I've heard people talk about their magical underwear that they wear. Oh yeah, because Catholics never wear That's special my point. never wear special garments under it's under like, them to like, remind dude, them. It, that'd be like saying Catholics wear tea bags for some reason. Magic That's kind of what they magic look like. Tea magic tea bags. The scapular. So I don't like when we. When, I think if if an opponent's position seems outright stupid to you, it's a, it's a good chance that you haven't investigated it. Yeah, there, I mean the variant to that, and someone who follows Chesterton more. Uh, would be able to correct me on this. I believe it's called Chesterton's Fence. Okay, yeah. And I think it's where if someone says, uh, this this is stupid, we don't need this. That's right. Is to say, all right, well, why did someone think we needed it at one point? And yeah. then tell me why they're wrong. That's really good. I yeah. think that is. I could be getting it wrong, but I think that's, let's tear down this fence. Okay, that's right. before we do that, though, why do you think they put the fence up? Yeah. And then let's see. Give me a compelling reason. Sort of like with marriage, right? Mm -hmm. like marriage being between man and a woman is stupid. Uh huh. Well, tell me why. Why did we ever come? Why did we come up with this? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I, I try to. Yeah, I think it's important to be to be fair. To be fair to our opponents, acknowledge their strongest cases, give them as many outs as you would give to yourself. Yeah. Now, I still think there's big differences. For example, here's a big difference with with Mormonism and Christianity. If you take the Bible and you give it to a Jewish, a Christian, and an atheist scholar. They'll take the New Testament or the old. They'll be able to tell you the rough area where those events took place. We have enough archaeology that at the very least, the Jew, the Christian and the atheist can say these events allegedly took place here. And the atheist or the Jew uh, might deny some of the miracles, right? Like the miracles of Christ yep. or any of the miracles, like maybe the miraculous stuff didn't happen. But yeah, this is where Jericho is, this is where Jerusalem is. It all happened around in this area. Basically, uh, the Book of Mormon, it's very difficult. No one has really agreed on the general location where the events in the book take place. Some have said it's in a small, narrow bit of land in Central America. Others stretch it to North and South America. Some people put it in the, the American heartlands or the Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. That's a that'd be like saying, well, Jesus might have died in Jerusalem or he might have died in New Delhi, India. We're not entirely sure. You know, so for me, that's a. That's a big difference there. But mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but I think it's important to assess the cases fairly. But even in doing that, I still, go back to the original question a while ago, Yeah, I still think the preponderance of the evidence uh, on the whole is greater for Catholicism. Hey, and thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.